No, believe me, it was nasty. I had to go downtown, uptown. All right, hey, hey. the presidents right. of the United States of America. Gosh, thanks for coming by. You know, this is a real treat for us. It, really it's it's our pleasure. You know, we heard Pearl Jam's going to be here on the show, and we can't wait to meet him. No, you guys are playing. <laughs> Steve! <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm still alive, yeah. <laughs> We have an excited crowd because it was quite an exciting week in Seattle. As you know, Bill Gates, he had a party and invited the captains of industry and politics from around the world, and I guess that was probably the most exciting thing in his week, but for the rest of us, it was really cool because we got new phone books. <laughs> Basically the same thing. On the same level, really. I mean, you know, we love getting the new phone books, and we here on the staff, we took a real close, a hard look at the new phone books, and we came up with a few observations. Now, first of all, when you're placing an ad in the phone book, you really want to put your best foot forward, get people excited about your business. And we found some great examples. Like, take, take a look at this ad here Soup Daddy Soups. Have a soup party. Doesn't that look exciting? Hey, dude, come on over to Rick's, man. We got three kegs of soup, man. We got a soup bong, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Now, here's a confusing ad. Look at this one here. 911 strippers. You know, it's just sort of you know, good case, bad case scenario. You know, losing my house in the fire was kind of a downer, but uh, the redhead did cheer me up, you know. So. I don't know. Now look at this one here. Compact car corner. Had three chances to spell a word right. Missed all three. You know? <laughs> I guess they think they're being cute, but really when you think about it, do you want your initials to be KKK? I mean, I just, I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> Apparently they do. Here's an interesting business. Look at this. This is our real business here. Crime scene cleanup. <laughs> I'm just guessing it must be a lot of fun being the receptionist at that. You know. Yes, Mr. Simpson. Hello. Oh, you've got a coupon. Yes, two for one. Yes. Uh, shouldn't have taken it that far. Not that far. Uh, we found some interesting ads in the attorney section here. If you take a look, uh, there's Peter B. Tucker and sex offenses. Okay. Now, look, a few pages later, look, same guy, entertainment law. This is obviously the perfect uh, lawyer for Michael Jackson. You know, he's just wrong city there. Take, go, it's, it's in the yellow pages, you know. It's not, I'm just reporting it here, you know. Speaking of crime, the bail bond uh, companies take very different... This is a, a Seattle one. Take a look at this one. Lacey O'Malley there. You know, immediate help. There's people shaking hands. They're obviously grateful for the help. But if you just tilt on down here to the, the uh, Pierce County SeaTac one, they take a more, a more direct approach. Obviously, the little guy there will be very grateful to make bail. <laughs> direct approach. Here's another interesting choice for the artwork on an ad. You've uh, Business Interiors Northwest. Uh, it's got some business people in that. Like, uh, it's just sort of a question. What, what business is this guy exactly in? Yeah. Just a question I have. 
brings up a whole category that I call interesting illustration choices. Now, like this basement waterproofing business has their spokesman saying, I quit. Now, is that really the message you want to send out here? Uh, Ralph's concrete pumping. You see, innovators in the industry. Apparently, the innovation is just pumping it wherever the hell you want to pump it. Again. Just dropping it there. 24-hour marine and industrial cleaning has a pineapple. Uh, Basically, I understand that nothing says marine and industrial cleaning like a pineapple. Right? Now, the water heater sections are very interesting. They've got, if you look at them, the, the couple pages there, they've got some real human-like uh, water heaters. This one's running to fix the broken water heaters. This one's running even faster. But look over here, this one's, you know, got broken leg, you know, and standing in a puddle of its own fluid there. You know, just sort of not a good comparison. Then there's uh, this hearing aid ad from Total Hearing, and it's got a little thing. M is happy with Total Multi-Channel Hearing Aids. It's M in a happy state, you know. There are just so many questions I have about that ad, you know. I wouldn't really know where to begin, but I have the feeling if I called and asked, why is there a sad clown on your ad? They would say, what? Hey, what? Hello! Anyway. Now here's the page for photographers. You've got a nice portrait there, and over here a nice wedding photo, and you tilt down here to Liberty <laughs> Studio. And they uh, obviously, obviously they're trying to get some credit for taking the portrait of a very young Gary Locke. Obviously, and he continues to make inappropriate, you know, just sort of hairstyle decisions. You know, the guy's our governor. John, okay. John, I'm you're sorry. the last person in this state to be talking about hair. You know? okay. I mean, look, I'm you're a, you're ten years younger than I am. Yeah, it's, and I have hair, it's, and you don't. It's, I mean, it's the stress, Gary. You know I mean, that. I'm sorry. I mean, you, you you could be the spokesman for Hair Club. Okay. Uh, I, at least, I'm sorry. At least I have. Okay, hair. all right, all right. That's enough, enough. All right, gosh. You know, anyway, while Gary and I compare our haircuts, we'd like you to take a look at this. It was just, you know, I'm like joking, okay? For anyone who thrilled to the triumphant movie, Free Willy. Now comes this new film from Gastropod Pictures. Hi, Katie. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Daddy. I was just thinking about Sluggy. You remember him, don't you? Of course I remember him. <laughs> I sure do miss him. Yeah, I know. Daddy, you said Sluggy ran away, right? Did I? Yeah, you did. What really happened, Dad? Well, um... We needed money a few years ago, and some men came by. Some men came by? Yeah. What men, Daddy? They, uh, they ran a sideshow. They said they were looking for a great, big, giant slug. And you sold him? Yeah. What's the address, Dad? 3912 Second Avenue. But Katie, I don't think... Katie? Katie! And an incredible adventure begins. How much money did we make today, boss? Forty-seven dollars. <laughs> Pretty good for one day. That slug is a cash cow. <laughs> what? 
The sign says, kick a slug for a dollar, you idiot. <laughs> Get out of here. Beat it. <laughs> ah, welcome. Have a good time in there, girly. <laughs> Sluggy. Oh. Oh, Sluggy. Oh. get you out of these chains. We've got to get you out of here. What is taking that girl so long? I'll go check on her, boss. Ah, here she is now. <laughs> Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. All right. Why don't you go check on Gigantor and I'll count the money. <laughs> hey, boss, Gigantor's gone. That girl. Think they've been through here? Uh, yep, they've been through here. It's life on the run in a world filled with heat. <laughs> oh, Sluggy, I'm hungry. Let's get something to eat in this restaurant. Hey, not this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story of a special, strange friendship. A story of a weird kind of love. But ultimately, it is a story of triumph. Excuse me, do you like hot dogs? Yeah. Do you really like hot dogs? Uh, yeah. Do you really, really like hot dogs? Yeah. Would you walk two blocks for a hot dog? Sure, I'd walk two blocks for a hot dog. What about crime? What? Would you commit a crime for a hot dog? Uh, I don't know what you... You know, nothing major, like jaywalking. Would you jaywalk for a hot dog? Well, I guess, uh... Jaywalking's not that bad. Um, sure, I would uh, jaywalk for a hot dog. What if you didn't have any money? Would you rob someone just to get a hot dog? No, I would not rob somebody. What if he was a real SOB? Huh? You know, the kind of bastard that won't let you have a night off so you can watch your kid in a Little League game. Could you rob someone like that? Well, he doesn't sound like a very nice guy, but, you know, I still don't think that What if you're robbing this piece of garbage and he starts putting up a fight? Do you think you could kill him for a hot dog? <laughs> no, I would not kill somebody for a hot dog. Absolutely not. What if it was Hitler? <laughs> what? What if it was the most hated man in the history of the world, Hitler, and you have the opportunity to kill him and get a free hot dog? Would you do it? Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Hitler, I hadn't really... Or what of... if he was just like Hitler? You know, the kind of SOB that probably keeps you working late so he can go home and have sex with your wife. Could you kill someone like that for a hot dog? You know, uh, this is getting kind of weird. Uh, I'm leaving. How about two hot dogs? Could you do it for two? You're insane. How about a hamburger? Get away from do me! Do you think any of your friends would Hitman do hot dog. When you'd kill for a good hot dog. <laughs> Is the late report. Well, actor Charlton Heston was elected to the board of the National Rifle Association at their convention in Seattle last weekend. The voting was close until Heston impressed the NRA rank and file by parting Green Lake. <laughs> Paul Allen agreed this week to some minor changes in the pending Seahawks stadium design, which would bring it into compliance with World Cup soccer standards. The principal change would be to make it easier for fans to spill out of the stands for on field rioting. <laughs> A 68-year-old Kennewick man was investigated this past week for illegally making dentures. 
Police say it's crime stories like this that are increasingly making Kennewick citizens afraid to go out at night. <laughs> In a follow-up to that story, Kennewick police said that they were pretty sure the dentures were illegal when they found out that the best set had been sold to this guy. <laughs> Seattle-based Cinnabon is introducing a reduced-fat cinnamon roll called the Minibon Delight. However, Cinnabon will continue to carry the regular cinnamon roll, also known as the Maxi Butt Delight. <laughs> A Microsoft executive flew in Mike Love of the Beach Boys to sing California Girls to his wife for her 40th birthday. And then for an extra 500 bucks, Love stuck around and made balloon animals. <laughs> the name of the West Seattle Freeway has been changed to the West Seattle Bridge because of concerns that the word freeway implied high speeds. Critics of the change point out that anyone who's actually driven on the West Seattle Freeway would never associate it with high speeds. <laughs> While well, C-First Bank will soon require fingerprints from non-customers who want to cash checks, loans and money orders will require a full body cavity search. <laughs> Finally, at a Museum of Flight gala dinner coming up in July, Hollywood star John Travolta has agreed to be the celebrity chair. So far, 1,100 women have signed up to sit on him. <laughs> this has been the Light Report. Right back with the presidents of the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, I may be the governor of the state of Washington, but these are the presidents of the United States of America. Hey! Under the island, middle of the mountain, there is a big bag. System, lowest speaker, whooper, tweeter, amplifier, melted wires, heart is exploded, chorus corroded, underground, the future sound, causing a shifting and a drifting, your big black boom box. No.
believe it either. People are crazy. Yeah, I know. It's a, and listen, I think you know Gary sounded really good with you guys, and I think that's a good addition to the group. I we're mean, gonna we're gonna bring him on board. Yeah, you got yeah. the sound going. All right, yeah. so you guys are gonna be going we got a, on we tour. We got a bunk for him in the bus. And All right. Be, it's, gonna be great. it's that the sort of participation that our political leaders need. With that's you. right. Get out there with the kids that's and right. rock. It's rock the vote and rock the governor that's at the right. same time. I like it. Anyway. Thank you very much for playing on the show tonight. And we want you guys to tune in, in next week because it's the last show of the season. But until then, thank you very much. The Woo! presidency of the United States.